very good morning students how are you all i hope all of you are fine and safe at your home so this is subject economics we are discussing chapter number 6 that is unemployment and this will be our lecture number 17 and last lecture of this chapter in today's session we are basically discussing about the state program to solve unemployment problem this is the normal question which can be asked either for 3 marks or for 5 marks here some of the important programs which are undertaken for reduction of unemployment are given by the government of india from time to time so here we are going to discuss all these programs that are related with reduction in unemployment ratio basically some of the plans and programs we already discussed in chapter number 5 that is for the poverty alleviation programs are also helpful in unemployment reduction along with that here we are going to discuss some of the exclusive plans and programs that will be helpful in reduction unemployment so let us start last point of this particular chapter that is state program to solve unemployment problem in 1951 five year plans started in india it was thought at that time that with the steps of planning and economic development the problem of unemployment can be solved but in the first four five year plans this thought proved to be wrong as a result from the fifth five year plan various employment oriented schemes like integrated rural development program food against work jawahar rozgar yojana nehru rozgar yojana suvarna jayanti gram swarozgar yojana सुवर्ण जयंती शहरी रोजगार योजना ट्रेनिंग टू रूरल यूथ फॉर सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट वर स्टार्टेड टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट नेशनल रूरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट गैरेंटी प्रोग्राम एम जी नरेगा स्किल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम स्किल इंडिया मेक इन इंडिया एंड मुद्रा मैनी एम्प्लॉयमेंट ओरिएंटेड स्कीम्स वर इम्प्लीमेंटेड some of them are as follows so here in this paragraph there are so many names of different different types of plans and programs introduced by government time to time is given in 1951 five year plan started in india as we discussed in previous previous chapter also that in 1950 the planning commission was established and from very next year that is from 1951 our first five year five year plans are started in india so in 1951 five year plans started in india first of all line this statement it may ask either in mcq or in one mark it was thought at that time that with the steps of planning and economic development the problem of unemployment can be solved basically when india became independent we face so many different types of problems either economical social or political amongst them unemployment was also one of the severe problem that can be resolved with the proper necessary steps but as a whole country it is not possible to solve the problem of unemployment within one five year plan or two five year plan so from very first five year plan are one of the objective set up by the political or we can say set up by the ruling government is to reduction of unemployment so it was thought at that time it means during the first five year plan that with the steps of planning and economic development the problem of unemployment can be solved because the government was in favor then and 
it was their thought that they will reduce the unemployment level with proper steps and proper planning but in the first 4 5 year plan it is the time period of two decades that is of the 20 years starting from 1951 this thought proved to be wrong it means after so many efforts so many allocation of resources different plans and programs government is unable to achieve the ratio or we can say achieve the rate at which the employment can be reduced as a result from the fifth five year plan see focus here all this data which is given in a bold is very much important for your examination point of view it may ask for two marks that is state the different programs that are introduced by government of india to reduce unemployment or they may ask that which are the different types of programs that are introduced by the government of india so you have to write down only the name of all this program basically majority programs which are given over here are already discussed in chapter number 5 that is in poverty because poverty and unemployment is interconnected if we eradicate the poverty then it will results into the high employment ratio or we can say that we can solve our problem of unemployment along with reduction in poverty so first four five year plans are failed because of the limitations and so many objectives that attach attach together for any of the five year plan and as a result from the fifth five year plan various employment oriented schemes introduced by government which are as follows the time period of fifth five year plan was between 1974 to 1978 because there was a plan holiday years of 1966 to 1969 in which not any of the five year plan declared so first five year plan is from 51 to 56 second five year plan 56 to 61 and third five year plan is 61 to 66 after that 66 to 69 is a plan holiday and 69 to 74 was the time period of fourth five year plan and after that 1974 to 1978 was the time period of fifth five year plan in which various employment oriented schemes like IRDP which we already discussed in poverty that is integrated rural development program food against work it was a type of plan in which instead of paying a wages or salary to the workers they are giving a fixed amount of food grain like 5 kg of wheat to each day working to the workers so it is also one of the unemployment reduction program that is food against work then jawahar rozgar yojana which we are going to discuss over here nehru rozgar yojana then suvarna jayanti gram swarozgar yojana which we already discussed in chapter number 5th that is in poverty suvarna jayanti shahari rozgar yojana which we are going to discuss in this chapter tricem that is training to rural youth for self employment were started to solve the problem of unemployment so all these plans are open or we can say established during the fifth five year plan and the successive five year plans along with this national rural employment guarantee program initially known as narega and now it is known as mg narega skill development program skill india make in india and mudra all these plans that is skill development program skill india make in india and mudra started after 2014 that is after the bjp government's ruling many employment oriented schemes were implemented 
some of them are as below so amongst all this here we are discussing some of the few programs and plants only amongst them the first one is mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act that is mg narega on february 2016 national rural employment guarantee act was started with the objective of providing employment to rural people residing in backward districts of country the name narega was changed to mg narega on 2nd october 2009 to make this program successful government declared 2nd february as employment day in this program at least one person from each family is given guarantee of getting employment for 100 days in a year so here initially it is given that initially the plan was known as narega and after that the specific plan is converted into mg narega let us take the glimpse of this particular act or we can say program on you have to remember all these dates and year for one mark or three mark purpose on february 2006 national rural employment guarantee act was started so when it is started sorry when it was started it was about narega with the objective of providing employment to rural people residing in backward districts of country so if it is asked that which plan is introduced for the people of backward district then we have to mention that narega was the plan that was started for the rural people who are residing in backward districts of country the name n r e g a that is narega was changed to mg narega on 2nd october 2009 so if it is asked that when narega was started then you have to mention that in february 2006 but when it is converted into mg narega then it is 2nd october 2009 and to make this program successful government declared 2nd february as employment day line this statement it may be asked for either one mark or in a mcq in this program so the objective of this program is about to providing an em- uh, employment to the rural poor of the backward districts but in this program at least one person from each family is given guarantee of getting employment for 100 days in a year it means among all the family member there is a guaranteed work for at least one member per family for minimum 100 days in a year that will be assured by the government to reduce the unemployment level along with reduction or eradication of poverty next paragraph one third employment is reserved for females under this scheme line this statement also it was recommended to provide minimum wages for physical labor moreover laborer should be provided wages within 7 days laborers should be given employment within 5 km from their residence if laborers are given employment beyond the distance then 10% extra wages are given to them laborers working under this scheme are provided job cards which is valid for 5 years after receiving job card if the laborer does not get employment then he is paid employment allowance now here in this scheme one third employment is reserved for females under this scheme it means almost 33% seat is reserved for the female of backward districts 
it was recommended to provide minimum wages for physical labor it means as per government norms if the per day physical labor is 200 rupees then it is recommended that they have to give minimum 200 rupees per physical day working moreover all these are the characteristics and you have to remember all this because it may be possible that they will ask for three marks that is explain the narega or mg narega in detail then you have to mention all these things compulsorily moreover laborers should be provided wages within 7 days basically all these laborers are from the backward and remote areas and it is only their livelihood that amongst the family of 3 4 or 5 persons if there is only one person is working and yet he is getting a normal salary or wages then it becomes important that they will get their wages within a stipulated time period so along with the minimum wages they also recommended that this wages should be provided within 7 days so it may happens that on every saturday they are getting their wages from the government contractors laborers should be given employment within the 5 km of their residence it is also one of the important characteristics of mg narega that it is the only 5 km distance because basically in this district there is no availability of transportation facilities there and majority of the laborers are going by walk so if they are able to get a work within 5 km then it becomes very convenient for them to move to their workplace very easily if laborers are given employment beyond that distance then 10% extra wages are given to them sometimes it may happens that in a particular area there are more number of laborers are residing and government has to compulsory give them job employment and in that case they have to move to the workplace which is far from their home town or we can say from their home so in that case government will provide 10% more wages to them so that they can commute very easily laborers working under this schemes are provided job cards which is valid for 5 years so here to calculate minimum 100 days basically the job cards are provided so it may happens that in this year if you are getting a job of 100 days then the salary or wages will be paid for that 100 days next year from the same job card they will get the employment for other 100 days and it may valid up to 5 years so every year they are getting a assurance that within the stipulated time period that is 5 year they will be able to get employment of minimum 100 days so it is also one of the characteristics that they are getting a job card which is valid for 5 years after receiving job card sometimes it may happens that government is giving this job card to the employees but they are unable to give employment or we can say unable to give work so after receiving job card if the laborers does not get employment then also he is paid employment allowances so it is a very good scheme of government in which let us take the glimpse of this particular plan initially minimum 100 days job assurance for at least one person in a family one third job is reserved for females minimum wages for physical labor within 7 days wages payment should be done the job or the employment will be given within 5 km from their residence and if it is more distance than 5 km then 10% extra wages should be given laborers working under this schemes are provided job card for 5 years and if they are not able to give employment 
then on the basis of job card job card they are able to get employment allowances from the government also so here we are completing one of the important program or plan of the government for reduction of unemployment that is mg narega that is mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act 2009 basically introduced in 2006 but converted into mg narega in 2009 let us move towards the second employment scheme that is pandit dindayal upadhyay shrame ujayate yojana that is pdu sjy this scheme was started on 16th october 2014 some of the objectives of this scheme were to provide health and security along with good management skill development and welfare to the laborers of unorganized sector and to develop conducive environment for industrial development basically this scheme is named after the great economist that is pandit dindayal upadhyay shramayu means it is employment and jayate yojana which is also known as pdusjy you have to remember all the short forms i already suggested that make a list of all the short forms that comes under both the subject that is in oc and economics separately here you have to write either chapter wise short form or you may make a list of all the short forms that are asked in this particular chapters basically it is already given at the end of the textbook or we can say at the last page in the form of glossary then also we have to write down it for our betterment because in majority cases in mcqs or one marks they will ask the full form of this short forms So let us talk about the Pandit Dindayal Upadhyay Shramayu Jayati Yojana. This scheme was started on 16th October 2014. Remember this year also. Some of the objective of this scheme. For which objective? So it to provide health and security along with good management, skill development, and welfare to the laborers of. unorganized sector first of all what it is firstly they are providing all these facilities to the unorganized sector that is the sector where majority people are working on self employment basis so along with employment they provide health and security and good management also different skill development programs in which basically the skill or the work of their ancestors can be given as a training and welfare to the laborers to unorganized sector and by this way they are developing the conducive environment for industrial development because all these people who are getting the benefit of this pdusjy will be able to work as self employment or wage employment after getting a proper training in different government plans and policies plan number 3 that is din dayal upadhyay gram jyoti yojana du jjy instead of the earlier rural electrification program this program is started with an objective of providing constant 24 by 7 electricity services in rural areas basically in india we neglect the rural areas for basic facilities and infrastructural facilities before almost 10 years period starting from the independence to up to the 1990 or we can say up to 2000 there were availability of electricity in rural area is only for 8 hours a day and for the irrigation purpose only 
remaining 16 hours will be as a without electricity time to time different ruling government has started different types of electrification programs but they were failed to provide 24 by 7 electricity and so now with the objective to provide 24 by electricity services new plan that is din dayal upadhyay gram jyoti yojana is provided now question comes to our mind that what is the relationship between the electricity and employment but there is a big relationship between this two as if there is proper and 24 hours availability of electricity is there then many of the industrialists will think to start their business operations in rural areas also basically the main thing that hesitates this businessman is non availability of electricity and other facilities in rural area but now instead of that notion if the government will provide continuous 24 by 7 electricity services then they will think to start their business or factories in rural areas which provide more employment to rural people also who are suffering from disguised and seasonal unemployment so instead of the earlier rural electrification program almost there were seven to eight type of different electrification programs introduced by ruling government time to time for the rural electrification this program that is the program of dugjy is started with an objective of providing constant 24 by 7 electricity services in rural areas and which encourages more employment opportunities in rural area also next one is plan number 4 is dindyal upadhyay gramin kaushalya yojana du gk y this scheme was started on 25th september 2014 The main objective of this program was to provide employment to youth between age group of 18 to 35 years. Here, Gramin Kaushalya. Kaushalya means skill. This scheme was started on 25th September 2014. Basically, 25th September 1916 is the birth anniversary of Pandit Dindyal Upadhyay. so on his birth date this plan or this program was started or initiated by the government the main objective of this program was to provide employment to youth between age group of 18 to 35 basically the age group between 15 to 64 is considered as a productive age group but amongst them the most youth age group is 18 to 35 and here majority basic skills development is also there among the workers and that's why this scheme gives encouragement and employment opportunities to the age group of 18 to 35 years last but not least is the fifth one that is prime minister agricultural irrigation program for basically previous six papers the question related to prime minister agriculture irrigation program was asked three times in different different styles this program was started on 1st july 2015 with the objective of water to every field to increase field productivity optimum use of available resources and planning of irrigational facilities to agricultural areas basically this prime minister agricultural irrigation program was started on 1st july 2015 objective of this plan is to water to every field remember this point basically here you have to remember two thing first thing is the establishment here and second thing is the objective to increase field productivity 
basically this irrigation program is to increase the agricultural field productivity optimum use of available resources that is the feed uh, seeds fertilizers pesticides etc along with the water and planning of irrigational facilities that is major and minor irrigational facilities to agricultural areas for better understanding and easily remembering i suggest you to make the three column table in which the first column is about the name of the plant second column is for the establishment year and third column is for the objective and write down all these five programs in a sequential manner so that you will be able to understand and memorize all these points very easily and clearly i hope you will do as directed by me and we'll get better result together here we completed this session along with the chapter also and i recommended to complete your exercise or worksheet as per our schedule have a nice day and thank you very much class